Hi, I'm Lee, and this is my little postcard to you about my creative life. You guys are rapidly coming, becoming part of my, my weekly mooching day, <laughs> which is the day when I just quietly potter about my house doing nice things that will make the rest of the week nicer and easier, like getting food and cleaning things up and doing little creative projects and talking to you. <laughs> it's the bank holiday and it's been just beautiful. So I've done a few jobs in the garden and this fellow and I have just been out for a walk. Um, it's a little cooler today than it has been, which is actually quite nice. You might have gotten the, the impression over the last three months that I am really trying to keep my projects and sort of works in progress, not just on a creative front, but generally to a minimum, just to make sure I see progress on different things and just, it, I just find it easier that way, um, not having not having a ton of things on at once just gives me a bit more mental space. However, I've been thwarted in that ambition uh, or goal. Yeah, because I'm also a member of the York Spinners, uh, no, it's Weavers, Spinners and Dyers Guild. Just let that siren go past. I don't know if you can hear that. And one of the side effects of being a member of the York Weavers, Spinners and Dyers Guild, I'm not sure if that's the order I'm supposed to say those crafts in, but anyway, something like that. One of the side effects of being a member and going along once a month to those meetings is the sheer volume of inspiration <laughs> that you expose yourself to. And at our meeting this month, we had an interesting talk from, I forgot the name of the lady and I forgot my bit of paper. Hold on. Okay, we had an interesting talk uh, from a woman who has started up a business called Ben Ridge Woolworks. Uh, I think she's up in Durham, it says here. Ah, Lucinda, that was her, her name. I had thought she was up in Northumberland, but not quite that far north. And during lockdown, uh, apparently she lives on a farm, she decided to do something with wool. And she started a business where she processes fleece. All types of fleeces. Um, she buys them directly from the farmer. One of her goals is to ensure that everybody in the sort of like chain that she operates within is actually fairly paid. And she buys all sorts of fleeces directly from farmers and then washes and cleans them and is developing products that she can use the wool for or selling the fleeces on as they are. So... Apparently, she has about 60 different breeds of fleeces that you can get. Um, and she was very interested to know what spinners would think of her preparations. So, um, she came along to talk to us at Guild. We have some really interesting talks. We have about five or six talks a year, every other month. Um, and then we have what we call skill share days in the, in the weeks where we don't have talks. We, we can just, they quite often do workshops um, or you can just go along and do your own thing. Anyway, this was one of the weeks where we had a talk. Um, and following the talk, the, the guild had decided, as she was doing the talk for free, we quite often have to pay for speakers, the girl decided to support her by buying some of the fleeces and um, dividing them up into sample packs 
so that we could try out the samples and see what we thought in terms of these being a preparation for spinning. And so, she does, she does other products. I think she sells the fleeces to be used in saddle making uh, and they make rugs. Uh, she's looking at making yarns. Um, yeah, but one of the things she wanted to know is if this was something that's just an enjoyable, good value product for spinning, especially as she has so many different breeds available, which is exciting. You can buy a breed pack from her, I suppose, and we don't have to spin this. <laughs> um, we could needle felt it or do any number of different things with the fleeces. I think there are about four or five where we could choose to take a sample each um, or a couple of samples we were allowed and so I have got two samples um, this one is a Clun Forest which is a Downs breed sheep I think it's I want to I want to say it's uh, Welsh but I don't think it is I think it is an English um, breed and it's one of the finer downs breeds. So this is the first one that I've started spinning. The preparation is carded and it does have a bit of uh, vegetable matter in it. And it does have a few nips in it as well. So I have started spinning this one on my wheel, as you can see. Um, and I've divided it into two so that I can try spinning it two different ways and I'd started with this batch by just doing a short forward draw because I've not spun in earnest for ages and that's just my default that's what I find easiest that's what I've done the most of and um, but as you do I was on whatsapp with one of my girlfriends this morning who suggested that I try a supported long draw now I've not done long, long draw for years and years and years, uh, so she's sent me a link to a video to watch and I think for the next half of this one, that's probably what I'm going to try. Uh, that was the su suggestion for this type of preparation because I'm finding that with the short forward draw I'm not getting a very even yarn, but I don't know if that's just because I'm out of practice with spinning. So anyway, I've still got a little bit of this half of the sample. To, oh, there's part of another yarn that I was making um, to spin up and then I'll divide what's in this bobbin in two and ply them together and I will try doing things with it like um, knitting or crochet or a little weaving sample I'll make some samples with it just to see what I think at first when I took it out of the bag it didn't smell sheepy at all but actually now it's had some air, um, it does actually, and it does still have a little bit of the lanolin in it, which is quite nice. It's not been really heavily scoured. So yeah, that's the Clun Forest. The other one that I got is Borrowray. Now that's a Scottish sheep, and I think it's kind of quite fine. All of the fleeces are um, discarded, and so... I, the, with this first one I've just been out opening it out I haven't done any further preparation I did wonder if I should recard it um, but yeah we'll see how it goes I'm not going to bother recarding it I'll try the supported long draw with the next sample but yeah so this next one is Borrow Ray which is I, I'm really intrigued about this um, I don't know much about Borrow Ray so I might do some reading up about that um, yeah but the, cl the Clun Forest is very much like a Downs breed. It's very springy. It wants to fluff up and push out. So we'll see how that goes. So that is my little postcard to you from this week. And I hope you have enjoyed having a little chat with me. I have to say, I really enjoyed hearing about what you're working on in the comments. So many different things <laughs> going on. More inspiration. Um, so yeah, do drop in and leave a comment. I do enjoy reading them and looking through. 
don't th think there were any questions to answer this time. I'm on the back foot. I didn't check that before I started filming. But anyway, it's always lovely to hear from you and lovely to sit and have a little chat with you. If you enjoyed yourself, please like and subscribe and I shall see you next Mooching Day. Cheerio!